There's nothing. Look, there's nothing. You see? The problem. The problem here. Baby, you know? please stop it. There's no monster. Yes, there is. Baby, if you don't run out so many times. But he's right outside. Just stop it. Baby, there's nothing to be scared about. Ah! Ah! I was told you could help me. I'm Dr. Mason. What did you lose? My son. He had an accident a few years ago. My wife couldn't live with herself after that, and now they're both gone. And I'm trying. I try to remember every day, and it's getting old. Those dreams that always end right before I can resolve them. I would give anything to see my family again. I can't guarantee you'll see your family. The tea works differently for everyone. But I must warn you, don't stray too far. You can get trapped on the other side like a fly in a web. You shouldn't be here. Why? Wait!
remarkable brain activity. You're not going to believe this shit. His heart rate is stabilizing. His blood pressure is 110 over 70. <laughs> Am I all right? Oh, my God. You're good. You're good. Where is she? <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, easy. Easy. Sanchez, I'd like to talk to you about your tea. There's sodas in the fridge. The sugar helps with the headache. The girl in this picture I just saw her. What did you say? Girl in that picture, the smaller one. I just saw her. Oh it's my baby sister, Isabel. Miss Sanchez, something in that mixture you gave me has a profound mind altering effect. I would like to analyze a sample in a small trial. I can't. This is a passage between two worlds, not a recreational drug. It's sacred. Look, it would be a small trial for my own team, and and we'd have funding. Might help you with some of these bills here. Excuse me. Just give me a call if you change your mind. What do you have to lose? What'd you say? Should do it. Can you get me Dr. Weisman on the phone? Yeah. That's great. I mean, we could conclusively prove that life exists after death. Wow, you weren't kidding. We are really excited to be working with you on this. Thank you. How did you find it? Well, that's a long story. Apparently, some silent movie actor lived here once. And what about the family that you got it from? But obviously, they didn't live here long enough to restore it. I don't know much about them. Oh, shit. 
serious Adams family vibe. Maya, this is Travis's brother Shane. Hey, Doc. Shane just got back from shark diving. Cape Town. Ray White's. Brave man. Travis. Yes. Can you take them? Look at her looks for you. She went straight from kindergarten to Harvard. This may surprise you to hear, but I'm really not a rodent person. I will never understand you. Well, take a look around. Pick your bedrooms. First come, first serve. Main base is gonna be here. Hey, whoa, crap. You meant the people, don't you think? Oh, I know. I'm, just, I'm gonna take them outside. Come on, rodents. Let's go check out the rest of this bad boy, huh? Dinner today, guys. And then fasting the rest of the night. Injections start tomorrow at 9. Copy that. I wonder what the listing price is for a mansion with a history of murder. <laughs> is the pool heated? Because I feel like that might cancel it out, right? Yeah. I didn't see a pool. Yeah, up here. Really? Yeah. Water in it? <laughs> so just put them on that table right there. All right. Hey, guys. thing we have in these back home are like those soggy microwave spring rolls that you're the ones in the gas station on the bed. Yeah, I love those. Oh, God. It tastes like the gas station floor. Mm. No. It was a long night. <laughs> Hi. Sorry just to walk in when the front door was open. I feel underdressed. I didn't know you were coming. Janet said it was still undecided. Yeah, it was last minute. Don't let me interrupt. I'm just here to observe. Everyone, this is... Casey Blackburn, he's going to observe the trial for the Milford Foundation. Uh, the Milford Foundation? Of neuroscience. They fund all of our research. Scientifically speaking, we are pushing boundaries here, and so far, Milford has been nothing but supportive, so let him do his job. We do ours, right? Have a seat. Please meet my team. This I'm actually is... familiar with everyone's files. It was a long flight. Except for Miss Sanchez, it was a surprising addition. Still trying to understand the necessity of her involvement in this scientific trial. The necessity of my involvement? He's off to a fabulous start. Ms. Sanchez has access to unique botanical compounds we've used to create our serum, so. You just seem pretty cavalier with an untested, mind-altering substance, doctor. OK. I mean, how sure are you that it's not just going to get everyone high? About 99%, actually. If we wanted to simply get high, there are far cheaper ways of doing it. Very true. <laughs> Listen, I'm not here to diminish anyone's work. I'm just here looking out for the, the interest of the Foundation. So I promise to make this as painless as possible. We have a big day tomorrow. Let's all try and get some sleep, huh? You still have to uh, fix the infrared camera. Don't get your panties in a twist. I'll take care of it. What do you know about my panties? Try this again. I don't mean to be a dick. Too late. It's my job to be a skeptic. I'm sorry. Now you're apologizing to me? Yeah, I read your file. I have a feeling there's someone I want on my side. Mm -hmm. That's a little creepy. <laughs> I realized that as I was saying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Speaking of creepy, this is a shithole, huh? Well, you think it's haunted? I believe in what I can see. You do realize that all that we can see is infinitely less than all that we cannot, right? You're a philosopher, huh? No, I just choose to have faith. It's like Pascal's wager. If you believe in God and he does exist, you go to heaven. If you don't believe and he does exist, you go to hell. So why not believe? Who's there? Oh, <laughs> hey. You know, for a guy who doesn't believe in ghosts, you're a real pussy. I thought you said you weren't a rat person. You know what, bro? I want to show you how to feed them in the event that I'm preoccupied. <clears throat> OK, so only a tiny bit right in there, and only at night. They're nocturnal. Hey, do you understand? I got you. Okay. Cool. 
So you dosed them with the serum, and and they're fine. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're fine for now. So as long as they don't have any side effects, then we should be good. Yeah, that's the plan. Ah, what? You sly radish, radish. Who? The black radish gone. Oh. Oh. Outside, outside, Shh. outside, outside. Shit. Uh, okay, come out for here. Fuck, got you. What are you doing, Nicodemus? Don't you want to be here when Dr. Mason makes history? History? <laughs> Jesus, I'm surprised his bosses are even letting him do this. Huh? Oh, no, Dr. Weissman trusts him, man. She knows his methods are unorthodox, but he's made her a shitload of money. Oh! Oh, don't, don't, don't touch charming. that. Ah! Don't, dude! Fuck. You probably have hepatitis from touching that. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, gross. Mom should have fucking aborted you. We'll start with half a milligram per BSA to assess side effects. Would you like to say anything before we start? The world you're about to experience on the other side. The other side, huh? Can look very much like our own, but make no mistake, it is not. Spirits? Ah, uh, yeah. Fucking awesome, but we're gonna need way more data. Absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. So I read here that you think that this serum will reactivate the pineal gland. How so exactly? The pineal gland is only active when we're children. At the onset of puberty, it begins to calcify. However, in Dr. Mason's studies on patients with near-death experiences, we noticed that the gland started secreting various hormones again, which is weird. You see the dark spots? That's what we are trying to replicate here. Gland is that powerful? It's not anything new. Buddhists believe the soul enters the human fetus at 49 days after conception, which is exactly when the pineal gland starts to form. Even Descartes believed it to be the part of the body most associated with the soul. Anything weird, find a partner, use your walkies, give it 30 minutes to kick in. Try your luck, day one. Team in good spirits. Violet Peitch, administering, participating. Dr. Travis Sherman. Jane Sherman, my assumptions, myself, participating. This may be the last medical study I conduct. Everybody wants to find out if the afterlife exists. I already know. Some tension in the house. Casey Blackburn already causing problems. Concentrate for once. How are you guys doing? So far, it matches the baseline we set on campus. Blue Star. It's a new descending a staircase. Goldfish. How many experienced purging? I just feel alert and focused. That would be your side effect, Trav. What exactly is the next step? Um, 
EEGs and reviewing of camera footage. Exactly. Come and find me immediately after. I want to be there too, for proper documentation. Sure. Sorry, my minions, it's not dinner time yet. Dr. Mason chose this site due to the elevated levels of electromagnetic radiation. Yeah, and all we're doing is mapping it out. Flags go where the energy drops back down to normal. Right here. What purpose does this serve the experiment? In the lab, high levels increase the effectiveness of the serum in the rats. What do you think causes the energy at this location? It could be the geology of the hills, or it could be something else. It's unclear.
TikTok. I mean, I've taken a shit ton of drugs, right? So, I mean, I'd know a hallucination if I saw one. I'm just trying to say that this was something different. It was like, it was like real, Hold but still. not. Sorry. Yeah, about the same, slightly dilated. Is this something you expected? <sighs> yes. That was caused by the serum. Our minds are just starting to open. It's only the beginning. Yeah, but that does not explain what I saw. Sure, buddy. Any idea what could have triggered it? Something from your past, maybe? No. Nah, we need to do too much blow. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm pulling too much power from that break. Headache's pretty normal side effect. Yeah. I'm not feeling great. So, Blackburn, what's your story? You don't want to hear that? Oh, well, yes, we do. Unless it makes you uncomfortable, of course. Especially if it makes you uncomfortable, actually. Well, come from a long line of New York cops. Get interested in the FBI. <laughs> well, that explains the suit. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, that didn't pan out very well, and so Dr. Weissman hired me at Milford. And you got assigned to us, you lucky bastard. <laughs> Maybe you should skip the next round. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Maya, I really appreciate what you're doing for us. They're always with us. Who? People we've lost. It's like, they never want to let us go. Maybe we can't let go. My grandmother used to say that life is a dream and our bodies are just vessels for our souls. And on that final day when you close your eyes for the last time, your soul is released. So she taught you how to make the tea. What happened? She died after Isabel. I understand. It's impossible to overcome. Death is just finally waking up. I saw my sister just a few moments ago. And I had hoped that if I came here to help you, that maybe I could finally let her go. But I can't.
Dr. Mason? Dr. Mason. Here you are. Can I help you? When would you like to report today's findings so I can communicate them back to Dr. Wiseman? I think we should wait. We need more solid data. Don't want to waste the time, you know. Tomorrow, then. Okay. All right. Benny? Don't tell mommy, okay? I won't, I promise. Who are you? I'm Ava. My name is Andre. What are you doing here all by yourself, Ava? I just wanted to play with somebody. Will you stay and play with me? I'm here. I'm sure he's scared. He's scared of what? The smiling man. <sighs> he used to only come out when he's hungry. He's been in the house, watching all of you. He's never seen ones like you before. I don't like him. The smiling man. What will he do? The same thing, the same thing he did to that little boy. No, wait! <laughs> Eva! Wait!
trial log T2. Participant tolerance of serum excellent. First, I will mention the smiling man. Possible correlation to Shane Sherman's counter in the basement. Moderate hallucinations. Increasing to 1.5 milligram per BSA. Lisa. Lisa. This looks promising. It's working exactly as we expected. Yeah, but the side effects are getting really uncomfortable. Anyone want to quit? Good. All right, that's my team. The serum doesn't work like the tea. We're not simply visiting this other plane. We are coexisting on it. What? I specifically asked for that yesterday, and he hasn't given me anything yet. I was just going through the inventory, and I noticed there were a few bottles of serum missing from box six. I'll give him a space, but I can't do my job if he's not willing to work with me. is inducing some kind of shared psychosis, right? I'm telling you, Doc, it looked exactly like you. Are, are you sure? Yeah, Pro subconsciously, yes, it could have. How is that have. fucking possible? Ice, ice. It could be a shapeshifter. This could be it. There are many possibilities. What are you thinking? Let's run a scan on her compared with Shane's, and then we'll take it from there. Doc. Whoa, whoa, uh, uh, guys, guys, did anybody see this? C come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. This is what I saw in my room. 
What's um here? 560 MT per millisecond. What is happening? Oh, and the energy field's going nuts. Get an EMF. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, You all right? It's okay. What a mess. You know I locked, I locked the door. I swear to God, I locked the door. It's all right. It's all right. All right? What happened? I, I don't know, man. All right, I want everybody in the living room. I want, I want to see the cameras, everybody. Nothing over here, guys. I want to see the cameras. All right. Guys, come everyone! We just got in. This is not a discussion. I want everyone in the living room. Let's go. Come on. With Andre. Mason! Andre! Stop. Wait, um, right there. Go back. What the hell is that? What is it, a spirit? We can't ignore this. This experiment is on hold until we find out who killed those rats. Hold on, what are you talking about? Without those rats, we have no gauge of the serum's danger. Yes, we do. Did you do this? What? To try and stop the experiment? Don't you ever question me. I'm calling Dr. Weissman. Oh, good, good. Yeah, do you run to her for everything? I do when half the participants in our trial just up and disappear. Casey, please, you are going to compromise all that we have worked for. We just wait and let us try to find out what happened, please. I'm sorry, I can't. Fuck. Hang up the phone. I'm making the call. Give us 24 hours to evaluate this situation make a judgment call about the viability of this experiment. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm the man whom Weissman has funded and trusted for over 10 years. And you? Not just their plausible deniability. Some peon is sent so they could say they covered their asses. <laughs> now, who do you think they're going to listen to? Fine, I'll give you 24 hours. I'll make it as painless as possible. I promise. How you feeling? Listen, I need to talk to you. I heard everything you needed to say earlier. <laughs> no, it's not that. Do you think that, uh... Do you think that Dr. Mason's been acting strange? What? I think that he's taking more serum than the rest of you. You are incredible. I found empty bottles in his room. He is the doctor. It makes sense for him to have serum in his room. Why the fuck are you snooping? Listen, I'm just trying to do my job, all right? Yeah, well, stop. Hey, guys. You come in here. What's wrong? There's someone in here with us. <laughs> what? This is ridiculous. No, Casey, this is just... bullshit. I know. You got her in on this, too? How did you get here? It's been a long time since I've talked with anyone. Especially, Especially anyone alive. It's okay. 
Don't worry, Violet. He, he, he's not gonna he's not gonna hurt you. How do you know? Because What is she doing? Don't, don't touch, touch me! Don't touch. Maya? Triad is advancing faster than anticipated. First physical contact with the paranormal subject. It appears that the pineal activity is altering our physio. Ben. Sleeping Beauty. Don't worry, I'm almost done. Whoa, what's that? Relax. It's empty. Not too shabby for your first ghost encounter, by the way. What, the shaking? There was an earthquake. An earthquake? No, 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 he was yelling. Yeah, Maya went right through him, but Andre pushed him right before the cabin exploded. He did? Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, by the way. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> you're just saying that because I took a glass to the face for you. Not gonna lie, that's about 99% of it. Yeah, I know it. And Violet. If there was really something there tonight, Dr. Mason's been taking the same amount of serum as mine. Why was he able to touch and she wasn't? It's just a thought.
so sorry. I'm so sorry. have you taken? It's changing you. You have to stop. You're opening up a door that you can't close. I already told you. I warned you. Crush me again. You're off the team. No, this isn't about you. You're putting all of us in danger. Get out. out of here no what what are you talking about <laughs> now that we're actually making history you want me to quit you're the one who like my whole life has been like don't give up history you, you know dude we came here to study shit not right be attacked by it we're not going anywhere it's not happening if all this works we're gonna have one hell of a story right I mean, shit, we could write a book or something. <laughs> I mean, you could write a book. I'm not gonna write a book. Whoa. Yeah, camera two's freaking yeah. out at the greenhouse. You know what? I'm gonna go check that out. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want you going out there with everything that's happened. If you're not gonna do your job, or if you don't want to, that's okay. I'll do it. Come on. I just, I don't want to miss anything is what it is. So okay. I lost something really important to me that I'm not bro, gonna... Bro, bro. All right, just go to bed. I will take care of it first thing in the morning. I, I swear to God. Scout's honor. Let's get some rest, man. We're both fucking tired, yeah? Do you remember when Mom was backing out of the driveway and she ran over Samson? <laughs> and I locked myself in my room and you broke in and you had painted a dog nose on your face and you had those tube socks for ears <laughs> and I like rushed you out of my room the truth is is that, that it meant a lot to me man and it helped what are yeah. big brothers for man yeah 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 I'm gonna go to bed yeah go to right, bed right. <laughs> hey don't forget though okay? I won't forget first thing hey, I love you bro I love you too man I can help you, Daddy. I can't, Betty. I know you can't. I know you 
Trav? What the f- Oh, shit. Can't sleep either, eh? I have a lot on my mind after today. What are you up to? I can't stop thinking about that thing that I saw in my room earlier. Have you ever heard of a knocking? Um, no. What is it? It's a Norwegian boogeyman, a shapeshifter. Seems like most cultures have these insanely similar legends of creatures that can change form. They run around, cause trouble, steal gold, take kids. That sounds like a really bad thing to research right before bed. I just find it fascinating how completely isolated cultures can come up with the same imaginary monsters. Maybe because it's it's not imaginary. Myths are usually based on some sort of fact. My grandmother used to tell me stories about El Desencarnado. A being without flesh. I don't know that one. Is it a spirit? Maybe it was once, but not anymore. The dead aren't the only ones beyond the veil. So what is it? A being deemed unworthy to leave the earth after death. It longs to be alive. It hunts, hoping that if it eats enough flesh of the innocent, its own flesh will be returned to it. And do you think it's out there? Good luck going to sleep now. Damn it, Trav. I told you not to come out here. Trav! Come on, man. Trav! Trav, are you there? Jesus Christ!
Jake, come on, man. What are you doing in here? You gotta see this. This was his house. What are you talking about? Oh my god. It's him. It was his son who died here. These are all missing kids. From everywhere. This is my sister, Isabel. This photos. Shay! Why would he be up here? Because I told him to fix the camera. <laughs> oh, shh. Uh, uh. Sh Shane! Oh, my fucking God. Look at this. Andre! That's enough. Andre! Guys! Help! What kind of scientists are you? We found blood in the greenhouse and drag marks. We gotta find Shane. If it's taken Shane, we are all targets now. It's time for you to tell the fucking truth. That's his real research. The fuck is this? He's been obsessed with that for years. That's what he thinks killed his kid. This is him with his family in this house? He didn't acquire it for the trial. Quiet, please. This is the real reason why he came to me. Because of what happened to Isabel? Who is Isabel? My sister. She was killed in the middle of the night. Something took her. The night my son was taken, I was there. He'd been drawing these for weeks. Something attacked him, I couldn't see it, but he could. You've been taking more serum than the rest of them, haven't you? He's right. He thinks that's gonna help him see it. His sister was taken the same way. It fed on him. In the woods, 
Why, why? How could you do this? Oh, Taken so many children, not just here, not just my son or Isabel. This has nothing to do with the science. Not even the experiment. You, you, he was hunting it the whole time. Fuck! Now we can stop it. I trusted you. It's oh. time to go. You have no fucking idea what you've done. Travis, let's go. I'm not going anywhere without Shane. Fuck, Travis, come on! I'll help you find him. Okay. Guys, wait up! Casey, I'm so sorry, but shit, what's you gonna start with? We gotta get out of here. What are we gonna do about Shane? How was that? Shane? Shane, what the hell happened to you? That's not Shane. That's what we could, you all right? No, oh, where's Violet? We don't know, I don't know. Did you ever take an injection? Yeah, apparently one. What does it matter? What if all this time it wasn't about the kids? They were simply the only prey it could see. El desencarnado. What? The discarnate. When we started taking injections, we made ourselves Visible to it. The pineal gland. Fuck you. We've got to get help. The thing, the more, the more flesh it consumes, the more human it becomes. It's changing. Becoming human means becoming mortal. I injured it. Is there still a chance? Yes. You better shoot me up, because I'm not walking to this fucking thing blind. All of us. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Violet. Shane! Violet! The police! Holy shit. Casey. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh my God. Slow movements. Did 
They're everywhere. Okay. Out of here. Get away from her. It's not violent. What, what are you talking about? It's a trick.
why did you do this? You could have just told us. I didn't know how. I just had to be with my family. It's my son. What's it like? Your grandmother's right. It's like returning. Coming home. But you came back. Why did you come back? What I did, I cannot make it right, but I had to try. It's over now. Just go. Live your life. It's gone. What if it wasn't the only one? Andre. Andre. <laughs>